My name is Toussaint Morrison. I'm with Onsite Media. Today is Tuesday, June 16th, 2020, and I'm here with Kia at 38th in Chicago. Uh, walk and talk with me real quick. What do you think the future is for the medic bus and for your involvement with the community here on 30th in Chicago? Um, my involvement with this is I want this to continue to move forward. This is mm -hmm. my, right here, this is my uncle's vision, Bobby mm -hmm. Hall. This is his vision. And he is with a, a nonprofit organization called Minnesota Renewal mm -hmm. now. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Um, <laughs> they have a vision for this particular area. But for me, we are actually in the process of setting up a mobile medical unit. Okay. Where we are going to be going into the hot spots of the areas that really need the help. And this we don't have the, it. This could be the future of healthcare. Oh, absolutely. Well, I truly be, believe in it. Be. And I believe in the people who wholeheartedly believe in what we're doing mm -hmm. to see it through. And so what would it take for this to become more fortified and to, to, to kind of expand it? Having actual personnel all the time, not just volunteers, having an yeah. actual medical bus, not just a bus that we're creating into <laughs> a medical bus. Yeah. I mean, you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as long as you see that vision and you see it all the way through, you will mm -hmm. be successful, which is what I believe in, in this community as a whole. Yeah. They want to shut this down and make it a parkway via the community. Not everybody agrees yet, but uh -huh. if you see that vision and you speak it into the presence and you speak positively, I believe uh -huh. it will happen. Do you think this will be turned into a pedestrian only zone? I think it would be a fantastic idea. What would be the first step to get that done? Talking to the correct people. Talking Making sure that people. the right people are hearing that. I mean, they've had ideas of having the parkway go from 36th, or excuse me, 37th down to 39th from Park down to Elliott as a four way cross. Wow. How we already have it pretty much. Yeah. But then putting a, uh, along the walkway will be areas where you can come and plant a flower or mm. a grapevine There's or already a garden strawberries. Over there. That's the initial idea. Yeah. But you come and plant that for your human, your people that have been brutalized to, in commemoration to what that is there, yeah. just bigger. Yeah, yeah. And you're, per, you're giving life to someone else. You're giving mm -hmm. nutrition to someone else based off of the hurt that you've gone through. You have veteran walls that have multiple names all over the world. That street has already started. Why not finish it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and the sculptures there, they have the names there. Water fountain in the middle is the idea. No, that would, that would be beautiful. It almost seems like a really, really big missed opportunity to just clean all this up. To, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even use the word clean, to just eliminate all of this, this, this beauty that's been brought to the neighborhood. Absolutely. And then where do you put it? And then Absolutely. where's the healing for people? Absolutely. Totally um, understood. And, and then I'll, I'll wrap on this. It, for me personally, it's been tough to watch people, you know, uh, out playing volleyball or playing soccer or whatever. And, and it, it's, I just feel like I always need to be involved. I need to be at a protest. I, I don't even feel correct, you know, just doing certain day-to-day -day things that I did before. Mm -hmm. For you, is that, is that a similar feeling? And, and you just, as you said before, you plan to be involved you know, all the way like through. I feel like none of this is a coincidence. Mm -hmm. God, in my opinion, is mm -hmm. using people as a vessel. Mm -hmm. I can have a conversation with someone, say, hey, you know, we need these X, Y, Z items. And I'll turn around and be like, hey, by the way, we just dropped off X, Y, and Z items. Uh, and I'm like, really? It was wild because they were just talking to Dr. K and somebody said, we need a stretcher. And Dr. K was like, I have a stretcher. Yep, we just got one. So somebody just came and dropped us off one just recently. And then it, it wasn't somebody that we asked for it. Yeah. I mean, it's just the fact of that he knows what he's doing and I see the need here and I believe that if we wholeheartedly continue to pour our heart and soul in this in the right way, because mm -hmm. this is not for the faint of hearts, I'll tell you that. No, no. It'll be successful and this community can slowly but surely learn how to heal. Mm -hmm. But we have to do it together as a whole. We cannot take one person and say, it was I yeah, that did yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. It is we, the people. And as mm -hmm. long as we, the people, stay connected and allow that communication to flow, uh -huh. we'll be successful 100%. Well, I hope the work keeps going for y'all. And as I say, we'll put a link in the video below to show people where they can go to donate on possibly, possibly volunteering to get a part of, yes. be a part of the medical bus. Thank you so much for the time and energy. Oh, thank you. Yeah.